Hello BookTube, Books with Banks back again with another video. I'm experimenting a little bit and trying to think of other video ideas uh, that I could do that don't strictly have to do with books but still have to do with, uh, you know, other things in the fantasy, sci-fi genre uh, type of thing and fantasy storytelling. Um, so I wanted to kind of talk about just video games real quickly, uh, give a real quick ranking of my uh, I guess I'll do like my five favorite video game series and um, talk about how I, I would love to go in and analyze how their different stories in those game series are told and how it's unique to like how that medium makes storytelling practices uh, special and more what more challenges uh, the video game genre might have when it comes to storytelling um, and what benefits that they have compared to traditional novels. Um, so in fifth place uh, I'm gonna say the Uncharted series. Uh, so disclaimer I've only played the first game uh, Drake's Fortune, the second game Among Thieves, the third game uh, Drake's Deception, and the fourth game a Thief's End. Um, I really loved the second and fourth game, I really enjoyed the third game, and the first game was fine, it was fun. Um, I think great stories, Indiana Jones is one of the like early movie franchises I got into, uh, as I'm sure other people around my age probably watched a lot of, you know, Lucasfilms uh, and Spielberg type movies uh, when they were growing up. Um, but yeah, so then just being able to play those in a video game was fantastic, was, was great, and uh, I mean, even this is probably the least sci-fi or fantasy heavy of these series I'm going to be talking about, uh, but it does have those fantasy elements there. I think the video game medium just lends itself really well to be able to tell, or to the fantasy, fantasy genre really well. Um, so yeah, Uncharted, I'm going to say, is my fifth uh place favorite series. Um, uh, again, I, so those are the only four I've played. I haven't played any of the handheld games and I haven't played the Lost Legacy. Uh, sort of, I don't know if it's like a side game or a sequel to the fourth one, uh, but but really, I mean, this might not even be fifth place if it wasn't for the fourth game, A Thief's End. I think that game is beautiful. Uh, might be one of my favorite games on this entire, this entire list. Um, yeah. Okay, so in fourth place, uh, I talked about this a little in one of my other videos when I talked about the books from the series, but in fourth, I'm gonna go with Halo. Um, I've played most of these games. The only ones I haven't played are a couple of the top-down things, um, and this series might actually be a little higher if the recent games weren't so kind of mid. Um, yeah, uh, so I, I really enjoy Halo, great sci-fi epic. Um, it's the only first-person shooter game that's on this list, and uh, it was one of the first like series that I got really into. Like I wanted to play as many games as I could, constantly looking up trailers and trivia videos and uh, looking into the lore a little bit more. Um, so yeah, uh, the Halo series comes in in fourth place. Then in third, uh, I'm gonna say, um, I'm gonna say, the Mass Effect series. So, the Mass Effect trilogy. I've not played Andromeda, uh, I should mention that. Uh, but the Mass Effect trilogy, I think, is wonderful. I think it's some of the best world building, maybe the best world building I've ever seen in video games. And uh, just character development, uh, what one might have to do, what a storyteller has to do with character development in that role-playing game setting. Um, I think those are really interesting challenges, so I think it could be fun to make a video, you know, going through the backstories of all of the the team that you're collecting in the Mass Effect games. Uh, something like that could be really fun. And sort of go through, okay, what's a short story in these games, like a side quest with someone, uh, versus the actual main narrative. Uh, something like that could be a ton of fun. Uh, but I love those games. I've played those probably more than any other game, um, especially on this list, uh, but probably more than any other game, period. In second place, I was a little wishy-washy between uh, second and third, uh, between Mass Effect and this series, uh, but this one really got me into like the story type of video games uh, more than just the, the gameplay itself, and I gotta go with the Metal Gear Solid franchise, uh, or the Metal Gear franchise to, you know, make sure I'm not excluding some of those really early ones. Um, it's just crazy and insane. I mean, it, it seems like such a simple espionage, spy thriller kind of concept to like, concept to like hook people on the video game series. Um, 
that's fine, but then when the bosses do weird mind control stuff and when the video game director puts himself in a weird goofy way into the game, there's all these little hints of like charm and like charisma and I mean there's just such a special kind of style uh, that comes with the Metal Gear franchise. On top of that, uh, the storytelling, it's some of the most emotional, bittersweet kind of uh, moments I've ever had playing games. Like you get to a scene and you're just like, wow, why, why is fighting this person really getting to me as much as it is? And uh, it really does. I, they, they're amazing games. The Metal Gear Solid franchise, ton of games there. Um, I do think it could be interesting here to talk about how a great story, like I, I would say Metal Gear Solid, Two has one of the best stories in the franchise. Um, compare that to the Metal Gear Solid V story and how I think the, the, the later game's story sacrificed a lot for gameplay. Um, and so I think a video kind of like that could be really, really interesting. Then, then last but not least, my favorite video game series of all time, um, and I think I owe a lot of this to the fact that it kind of saved my love of games. I really kind of slowed down gaming um, when I was kind of coming out of undergrad, starting up grad school. My brother was like, no, you have to try these. You have to try these. And I was like, well, if I haven't really been playing games, I don't know if these are the answer. Um, but they were, uh, and those are... I'll, for this video, the purposes of this video, I'll restrict it to just the Dark Souls trilogy. Someone could include Elden Ring, Blood, uh, Bloodborne, Sekiro, and um, Demon Souls in that if you wanted to. I love all of those games as well. Either way, those included or not included, this these FromSoft games, if it's just the trilogy or not, um, get first place um, and I think these would be some of the most interesting to analyze from like a sort of narrative analysis standpoint I, I know I for one would love to see someone who's actually trained in narrative analysis like um, quick shout out here um, AP Canavan over at A Critical Dragon uh, it would be sort of a dream come true I'm not sure if he's familiar with these games uh, or if people have pitched this anything like this to someone like him before but to see what he could do critically uh, to the Dark Souls franchise would be fascinating. To watch him do deep dives into item descriptions uh, and environmental storytelling and or atmosphere of these games, I think that would be such a such an unique and interesting take on the series. Uh, if he hasn't played them or you know heard much about them, um, I could make a little low key kind of goal of my channel. Uh, to say how how many subscribers and how many eyes do we think I need to get on my channel before we can force AP Canavan to at least give Dark Souls one uh, or Dark Souls we'll we'll let him play remastered instead of the original for PS3. How many eyes could we get on the channel um, before we can get enough pressure on him for him to try these out at least? Maybe not even play them if he doesn't want to you know go through the stress that these. Maybe not even play them if he wouldn't want to go through the stress that these games can induce, uh, but maybe watch, see if he'd want to watch some of uh, Vadavidia's videos, uh, that type of thing. Uh, so yeah, just um, Dark Souls trilogy, my favorite uh, video game series. Uh, I'd love to make videos about all of these video games that I love uh, and specifically about how they go about delivering their stories. Um, please uh, let me know in the comments down below if anyone would be interested in seeing me make such videos. Um, please let me know if anyone thinks uh, I have any chance of trying to get in touch with AP and seeing if he would want to uh, give Dark Souls a try. Um, and. Um, not not likely, uh, but who knows? Stranger things have happened. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching. If uh, you're just finding the channel channel now and you're interested in things I have to say about more fantasy fiction, uh, please leave a like. And uh, if you could subscribe, that would mean a lot. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.